Hi, John here. Um, I'm just at Watea at the moment, Radio Watea here, with Kingy. I've just come out of the meeting with Kingy in the radio station. And um, we just discussed a few things. I'll, I'll do it later on and tell you what um, he's saying for the Hui on the 30th of um, June 2017 up in Titi Marae. And so I think we'll come out with a good positive answer. I'll just put this camera here so I can talk to you here, out of the wind a bit. A little bit better. Right, now, <coughs> uh, I'll be putting together some articles for Kingi and his Ariki status of the uh, Titi Marae, or he's calling it Te Tiriti or Waitangi Marae. He's put a new name on it, but that's up to him what he wants to do. And today, being Monday, the uh, 12th of June 2017, I'm just putting it on the record here in Britain that uh, we are getting ready to go to Westminster with uh, Theresa May and I see that she's chosen um, Philip Hammond as her um, Treasury um, uh, Minister, uh, the Chancellor, Ex-Chequer, Ex-Chequer, Chancellor and so that I've written to him before from Tiki Marae Authority and uh, the Chiefs. We have Kingi um, from Ngāti Rahiri, the connection to Britain with the Admiralty flagship on the other side of Waitangi Marae. We have the other Paramount Chiefs to go to Westminster and to the World Court at the same time, uh, apart from King um, William on that side and Queen Victoria on the other side with Kingi. So this is where Kingy is on the Maori radio. He's the top radio announcer for Maori in the Pacific Islands. And I've been with him for over 20 years as uh, uh, in the Confederation of Chiefs and also with him and his part to play on the Marae as the oldest man, 87, and also the um, spokesman for the marae there uh, to keep the Ngāpui side intact with the uh, British on the Queen side of the ledger. So I'm happy to have a meeting with him today and we will progress together on both sides of the flag. The 1835 flag is what King is representing for the Queen Victoria Trust and the trustees here, where he has just said to me that he wants the trustees off the land at Titi Marae. So they're going back on the other side, in the Waitangi Marae side, and the Paramount Chiefs will be waiting there for those trustees. Uh, I'll be having a meeting with uh, uh, Bundy Waitai and uh, Hiriwini Karaka and uh, Manahi Parapara Mauhini about that. So that's just to clear things up, so that I'll put these in the petition to Westminster, to Proposition uh, King Ernest Augustus V onto the throne for that paramount side, the 1835 Declaration of War flag side, while I deal with Kingi from here the Ma uh, Whare Awake Marae here. I'll just take a shot before I go. So he's representing here uh, for the Ngāpui tribes and also the sound to the Swift Islands and the world from a Maori perspective. So that's what I wanted to say. It's a beautiful day today. I want to make sure that we have it on the record as being 
in order from the Chief's point of view. Okay, so that's really what I want to finish it off later and uh, put a perspective on where to from now. And the same with the British Westminster, where to from now and how we're going to be seen in Westminster and the World Court, our court, and the commercial side of the flag and our contract, and our private contract with King William IV and on the other side a contract with Queen Elizabeth II and Queen Victoria. Okay, well that's all from me. We'll catch you later. I'll just screen on the way up. This is the marae here. Now, whare wā tia marae. Here. So that's basically where everything happens around here with Kingi. Okay, so that's me for the day. We'll see you later and catch you again. Bye.